Hey everyone, so you clicked on this video because you're thinking about moving to Oklahoma City, possibly because of our low cost of living and affordable housing, which I talk about here. But let's face it, you're a serious foodie, and you're doubtful that Oklahoma City can measure up to your high standards, and you're asking yourself, are there any good restaurants in Oklahoma City? Well, uh, you're the reason I made this video, so today to help convince you that yes, in fact, we do measure up nicely when compared to the quality of restaurants you may be used to. I'm going to take you on a little culinary journey of the best restaurants that Oklahoma City has to offer. By the way, these 10 restaurants aren't my picks, but rather are the latest winners of the Oklahoma Gazette's annual Best of Oklahoma City survey poll. Now, to give you a little background in case you're not familiar, the Gazette is a 40-year-old local bi-weekly publication published right here in central Oklahoma that covers the local arts and entertainment scene, current events, politics. They also cover area bars and restaurants, and every year they poll their 140,000 subscribers across the entire metro Oklahoma City area, asking about their favorites in a wide variety of categories, including their favorite restaurant. The list I'm about to share with you highlights the most recent 2023 winners as voted by Gazette readers. So before we dive in, let me introduce myself. My name's Lynn Taggart, and I help people from all over making their way to Oklahoma find their perfect place to call home. I make these videos to help educate and inform folks thinking about moving here, hopefully helping in some small way, helping them decide if Oklahoma is the place for them. If that's you and you have questions or would like to chat, give me a call, shoot me a text or email, and let's talk. Let's kick this off with a category near and dear to my heart, best burger. In Oklahoma City, The Garage Burgers and Beer takes the prize for the best burger of 2023. Founded by legendary local restaurateur Hal Smith and with multiple locations across Oklahoma, The Garage is known for its creative burger concoctions and laid back atmosphere. It's a great choice for families. Whether you're into classic beef burger choices or adventurous, you know, plant-based options, they've got you covered. And don't even get me started on their hand-cut french fries. Now, if you're feeling really adventurous, try out the Big G. Two patties, one cooked Oklahoma style with fried onions in the meat, pickles, onion, American cheese, ketchup, and mayo. Mmm, that reminds me. Hang on a second. Honey, yeah, when's my next cardiologist appointment? What? Two, two months. Okay, then we're good. Best tacos. Craving some of the best tacos in town? Look no further than Big Truck Tacos, the proud winner of the Gazette's Best Tacos category, in a hotly contested race, I might add. With their diverse selection of flavorful fillings and uh, homemade tortillas, you'll be transported to taco heaven. And trust me, the vibrant atmosphere will make every bite even more enjoyable. With meat choices like grilled chicken, pork, steak, brisket, fried or grilled shrimp, and tongue? I don't want to know. They have something for everyone's palate, and yes, true to their name, they do have a big truck that sells tacos. Actually, they now have three big trucks selling tacos across the entire metro Oklahoma City area. Best sandwich, the mule, the restaurant, not Clint Eastwood. Sells some of the most flavorful, unique sandwiches in town, and the Oklahoma Gazette readers agree, making it the winner of the best sandwich category. At the Mule, they take sandwich making to a whole new level. From their unique ingredient combinations to their toasted artisan bread, every bite is a celebration of flavor. Want to talk classic comfort food? How about a dipping cup of their house tomato soup alongside their cheddar cheese grilled sandwich? Or check out their Philly, a baguette filled with thinly sliced steak, cheese sauce, pepper jack cheese, grilled onions, and mayo, along with the side dish that's always fun to say, tater tots. At the meal, make sure to bring your appetite. Best barbecue. Now we're talking my language. Barbecue is big in Oklahoma, as you can imagine, and the winner in this category doesn't disappoint. Winning barbecue championships is nothing new to the Clark crew, and so winning the Gazette Reader's Barbecue Crown in Oklahoma City should come as no surprise. This place is a carnivore's dream come true. Don't believe me? Check out this lineup at Clark Crew. You can order brisket, ribs, chopped pork, smoked bologna, smoked chicken, smoked sausage links, smoked jalapeno hot links, smoked turkey, and catfish. Bottom line, from tender brisket to melt-in-your-mouth ribs, their barbecue offerings will have you coming back for more. Prepare for a true finger-looking experience. Best pizza. Pizza lovers rejoice. In a, in a category also near and dear to my heart, Empire Slice House has been crowned the best pizza winner by Gazette readers and was able to fend off a host of worthy competitors. Their pizza ingredient combinations are just as unique as their pizza names. Don't believe me? Check out their Fungus Among Us pie featuring carmini, shiitake, and button mushrooms, and 
the Teflon Don, a glorious combination of pepperonis, Italian sausage, Canadian bacon, bell peppers, red onions, and black olives. Or in a nod to a famous former Oklahoma City Thunder basketball player, the Brussel Westbrook, a unique pie featuring bacon, caramelized onions, Brussels sprouts, and cherry peppers. These and many more awesome choices await you at Empire Slice House. I can assure you, you won't leave this place hungry. Best Steakhouse. For our next winner, check out this famous commercial clip. At beef, it's what's for dinner .com. Yeah, that's right on the money here in Oklahoma, where beef is a big part of our state's western heritage. The epicenter of the beef industry in Oklahoma is in Stockyard City near downtown Oklahoma City. That's where you'll find the granddaddy of Oklahoma City restaurants, the legendary Cattleman Steakhouse, which takes the crown for best steak with Gazette readers. Opening its doors in 1910, Cattleman's proudly serves cowboys, yes, real ones, ranchers, cattle haulers, and the like. And over the years, they've been known to sneak in an occasional lawyer, doctor, businessman, movie star, and even a U.S. president. With its colorful past, Cattleman's is a true Oklahoma City institution. Serving up the finest cuts of USDA prime beef in a historic setting, it's a place where you can savor every juicy bite and indulge in classic flavors. And speaking of classics, for the more adventurous out there, I dare you to order a plate of Cattleman's famous lamb fries. Don't know what they are? Neither did Chevy Chase. Call me Mr. Lamb Fries. Now there's a man who knows when he's got something good in his mouth. You polish off that plate and you break the record. Most folks just don't seem to have a taste for testicles no more. Testicles? Yes, ma'am. Sheep balls. Okay. Moving on. Mm -mm. Best sushi. So, sushi aficionados, this one's for you. Sushi Nico has clinched the title of Best Sushi in Oklahoma City in 2023. With their fresh, artfully crafted sushi rolls and an array of delectable Japanese dishes, you'll be transported to the heart of Japan's culinary scene right here in Oklahoma City. It's become Oklahoma City's number one destination for sushi and Japanese cuisine. Year after year, Sushi Nico is voted the best Japanese bar and restaurant in Oklahoma by Gazette Reader. They offer a fantastic assortment of sushi, ramen, cocktails, Japanese spirits, and more. Whether you just want to stop by with family and friends to enjoy some delicious sushi, or you need one of their private dining rooms for an event or team outing, Sushi Nico delivers a truly unique dining experience. All right, we know there's a lot of seafood lovers out there. Think you can't find good seafood in landlocked Oklahoma? Think again. Celebrating its 38th year in Oklahoma, Pearl's Oyster Bar consistently delivers some of the finest seafood in the state. A perennial favorite with Gazette readers, that excellence has been rewarded again in 2023 with Pearl's taking the crown as the best seafood restaurant in Oklahoma City. Along with Pearl's, owner Paul Cycle rules the roost when it comes to fish and seafood fare in Oklahoma with sister restaurants Trapper's Fish Camp on West Reno in Oklahoma City and Crab Town, located in historic Bricktown in downtown Oklahoma City. Now, Pearl's has an especially wide selection of choice offerings with lobster, mahi-mahi, trout, redfish, tuna, tilapia, shrimp, and oysters are all on the bill of fare, along with a number of Cajun seafood offerings. Add in a great bar area, and Pearls has something for everyone in a unique and really fun dining experience. All right, best Mexican. With humble beginnings in a single location in a residential neighborhood in Northwest Oklahoma City, Ted's Escondido Cafe has always had a fondness for freshness and made from scratch mentality. They've been bringing better Mexican food to Oklahoma City since 1991, and that legacy continues today. In Oklahoma City, Ted's is synonymous with Mexican food at its best, and year after year, Gazette readers agree, consistently awarding them the best of Oklahoma City crown. Now with multiple locations throughout the state, Ted's high standards for freshness and consistent quality still apply today. Traditional Tex-Mex offerings are the norm here, with food always served piping hot. Our family favorites include their enchiladas, quesadillas, and fajitas, as well as their made-from-scratch salsa. Ted's also has a thriving catering business as well. One caveat about dining in-house at Ted's, be prepared to wait because regardless of the location, you can always expect a line at Ted's. Best Italian, a multi-year Best of Oklahoma City Award winner, Gabriella's Italian Grill and Pizzeria in Edmond, wins the title again in 2023. For over 70 years, the Giacomo family has been serving some of the finest Italian food in the state. Beginning with the opening of the Isle of Capri restaurant in Krebs, Oklahoma, near McAllister in 1953, Gabriella's continues the tradition of excellence, moving to its new location in Edmond a few years ago. Here, serenaded by the likes of Frank Sinatra, Louis Armstrong, and other classic crooners, you can find all the traditional Italian favorites. Five-layer lasagna. Mmm, that looks really good. 
ravioli, spaghetti, fettuccine, risotto, chicken marsala and par parmesan, mussels, calamari, and a variety of other pasta dishes, not to mention a wide variety of brick oven pizza choices. This place has it all. Be sure to make a reservation, however, because this place is very popular and always busy. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure and try and leave room for some delicious spumoni to top off your meal. One thing's for certain, at Gabriello's, you will not go away hungry. So that wraps up the whirlwind tour of some of Oklahoma City's best restaurants. The ones that rose above the rest to earn a People's Choice title in the Oklahoma Gazette's annual Best of Oklahoma City survey poll for 2023. Hopefully you'll agree that we have a wide range of great options here, for even for the most discriminating palates. From burgers to barbecue, sushi to sandwiches, and fajitas to fillets, this city has something for every palate. So whether you're a seasoned local, a newcomer in Oklahoma City, or someone that's thinking of making this place home, Mark these restaurant choices down as places you've got to check out. You'll be glad you did. Speaking of possibly moving here, reach out to me with your questions about this place. I'm here to help you. Lots of people before you have made the move, and we hope you do the same. That said, be sure to check out this video where I talk about all the reasons why you should not move here. Better to find out now than later, right? If you do decide to come, I'm here to help you make your move as smooth as possible. My contact information is shown in the description box down below. It really is a great place to call home. In the meantime, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons. It lets the YouTube algorithm know you're liking the content I'm putting out, and it keeps encouraging me to make more. Also, hit the little notification bell if you'd like to know when I post new content, which I try to do every week. Also, I'd love for you to comment down below. What are some of your favorite restaurants here in Oklahoma City? Any hidden jewels out there we need to know about? More importantly, did the Gazette readers get it right? So I'll catch you on the next one, folks, and I want to thank you again for watching. Bye for now.